Hey Steady on here, um, and this is just going to be the first video in a series I'm doing on Roblox object, object oriented programming. Um, I'm going to try and keep these episodes as short as possible. I don't want it to be like a as quick as possible introduction into into this. It's really for people who are already familiar with Roblox Lua um, and you're comfortable using modules, um, and you just kind of want to start using object oriented uh, code instead. Um, yeah, so. Let's get started on uh, kind of creating our, our module and um, figuring out uh, everything, how this goes. So let's say we've got this module here um, and you could be doing a lot of things with this, but um, no matter what you're doing, I'm just gonna keep, by the way, I'm just gonna keep the word module because this doesn't have any specific use right now. Um, no matter what you're doing, you're gonna wanna have a, a function in your, in your module. Um, unless, of course, you're returning data from a table or something, but um, in this case, we're going to have a function. So maybe normally you'd have a function like function do thing, um, and then obviously you have all stuff in the function, does the thing, returns it, and you call this from wherever you're requiring the module. Um, but that's not really that's not how you do it uh, in object oriented programming. So um, what we're going to want to do actually is that we create a new object, um, which is a, a a property of the module itself. So we do module dot new, and this create then this will be creating essentially a duplicate uh, of the of the module and its methods. Um, but we can't do that uh, without using meta tables. So just underneath this first line, you want to create and you want to put a new line in. Which is just going to be module dot double underscore index is equal to and then module. So what this actually does is it means that um, by default Roblox will look through tables to find properties and that's stuff that's indexed by this little dot here. Um, but if we're going to be if we want to store methods or like functions within a a table or within the module, then we need to use meta tables. And what this essentially does is that if I have a function here and I say function module um, do thing, then with a normal table, um, this would be checked to see if there's a there's a property of the table called do thing, and obviously there isn't one, um, so the table would would just be returning nil, so it's not going to work. But if we include this line here, module dot index equals module, and what it does is it will check the table for the for do thing, finds it's not there, and then it will check uh, the module. Essentially, it will check itself again, if that makes sense, um, to find that do thing method, um, and then it will and then it will call it. Um, so, essentially, um, this uh, method is stored within the meta table um, of the module. Um, so. To actually create a new object using object oriented programming, um, which is what you're going to want to do every single time uh, you're using it, you want to use this function you've made, module dot new, um, and obviously you can have parameters here on how we, on 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 the properties of the object. Normally you will have parameters there. Um, and on the first line, you're going to want to create a new table, and this is just going to kind of be um, the the object itself. So let's just call it module two. I'm sure you can find a more inventive name than that, but that's what I'm going to call it for now. Um, and at the end of the function, we're going to re be returning this. But what we need to do is we need to um, include all these other methods that we might be creating later on in this module in this object. So the way we do that is we say set meta table, and then we put module to and module as the second uh, parameter. So what we're doing here is we're saying um, that we're adding all of the methods found in module to this module two table. Um, and what we're doing here is we are creating that table, we're adding the methods, and then we're returning the object, which is essentially a duplicate of the module itself, um, which that which can then be used. And, and we'll go through how we want to use those later. But, but just with this setup, this basic setup, you could then, um, let's create a script. And we're not going to put that in server storage. Um, and we're going to require the module. So we'll say local module equals require game server storage dot 
we'll do script. And then we're going to get the object. So local object is equal to, and then we're just going to say module.new. And this object that's returned, we can call, we can call the method of the object. So um, we can take this method here, do thing, and we'll just say it's to show that it's working. I'll just print hello with it. And we can do object do thing, run that function. When we play the game, we should be able to see in the output here that it says hello. And that's because we've run this function. So this is kind of like the very basics uh, of object geometry pro programming. Um, there's, a, there's, there's some other stuff to go over, um, like using the self uh, self variable, um, assigning stuff to that, um, and access the, accessing the, that data, um, and everything that goes with that. But this is the basic level um, introduction. So I hope this was helpful. Um, and watch the next episode if it comes out. There'll be a bit more there to kind of introduce you to some other stuff. This I haven't gone very far in depth here. It should really just be kind of letting you uh, get started using this, the, the code and then you can kind of figure out how everything's working in the background as you do it. I think that's the best way to learn. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.